Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I am in Adobe Audition, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a cool echo effect with your audio. So basically, it's going to be something like this. This is the Technology Guru. So it's a very nice reverb slash echoey effect, whatever you want to call it. So it's real good for radio sweepers, intros for podcasts, and things such as that. So in order to do that, first and foremost, you need to open up a audio track and go ahead and record the audio just normal like you normally would record it. So as you can see here, here is just the raw audio track that you just heard. This is the Technology Guru. So I recorded a, a intro type piece of audio. And then what I did uh, once, you know, in order to create this, obviously it's file, new, and then audio file. Then we want to create a new multi-track session. So make sure you're going to file, new, and then multi-track session, or on the Mac, it's command and then control N on the Windows or PC side of things. So once we are in our multi-track here, what you're going to want to do is we're going to start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the two audio files here. We're going to drag over that singular audio file that we just created in Audition, then what we're going to want to do is we're wanting to select it. So obviously right now I have it deselected. If I click and hold, drag over it, or just click on it, I'll select that specific track. Again, there could be a number of tracks. And if you see that my track is larger than yours, uh, basically use the mouse scroll wheel after you're hovering over the track names over here. You can either increase or decrease it by moving the scroll wheel up or down. So we'll go ahead and make it around that size. A little bit easier for you to see for the purposes of this tutorial. Now what we're going to want to do once we have that track selected is we want to either right click and copy just like that or command control C depending on the platform you're using and then go ahead and paste it. So right click paste just like that there. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure you're zoomed in pretty tight to the audio and then drag the new one onto a new track like track three down here and then make it a slightly ahead of the original audio track, which is this one on top. And then if we do that, that is going to overlay the two pieces of audio. And since we're saying the same, same thing, but at slightly different timing, it's going to give us a really cool echo effect or reverb, whatever you want to call it. And now when we press play, this is the technology guru. You have that echo effect like you're in a room or it's a really nice intro to a sweeper. And if you really want to have some fun, what you could do is let's say we go right here and let's just get the first half of, you know, what I'm saying this, you know, let's get the first half of that by doing it right here and then cut the clip here by clicking T or whatever your short key is. Now what you're going to want to do is copy this little guy here. So command C, uh, not command X, I'm sorry. You want to command C to copy that and then command V, command V, command V, command V, command V. So paste it a whole bunch of times. Now what you can do is drag this little guy on over here and then go ahead and get these guys kind of overlap them. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that really cool, you know, the, 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 you know, that effect. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is just a bonus for this tutorial. So now if we slide this guy over right here, let's see what we get now. This is the this technology, is the technology guru. guru. <laughs> so you get the effect, right? You can go in and play around with the overlapping audio tracks within the multi-track editor. If there's anything else you'd like to see within Adobe Audition, uh, I am a voice actor by trade, and I do work in Audition very, very frequently throughout the day. I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions, so put those in the comment section below. Watch my other videos that I've done on Audition. I'll link those in the YouTube cards above as well as in the description of this video. And guys, until next time, don't forget to slap that subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.